I don't know about you, but more and more people that we run into have a genuine anxiety, maybe even deeper than that, about what's coming for you and me and everybody in the West in November. Yeah. One side or the other. Forget the R, forget the D, forget the LMNOP. Please don't go there. Just deal with the basic thing of anxiety. People are concerned that this side's going to do this, and that side's going to do that. And, and I have some news for you. They will. And you know how I know? I don't have a crystal ball. I am not a prophet. So put your stones down. And you don't play one on TV. I do not play one on TV. But you know what I do have? History books. And uh, thousands of years of repeated, repeated, repeated stuff and shenanigans from both sides. And sides you haven't even thought to create yet. Yeah. Let me tell you what. This cat's in the way. <laughs> she keeps rubbing on the camera, on the tripod. <laughs> Let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. That may be good news or bad news for you, depending on your perspective of which side you may be on. Did you get a pokey? <laughs> she did. She's got really sharp claws. <clears throat> side. What was that quote from the book Lord of the Rings that we saw in the in the in the movie a little bit ago from a, a character named Treebeard? Right. He said, "Sides, I'm on nobody's side because nobody's on my side." How many of the muckety muck one percenter or higher one percent, half percent, quarter percent people are really more concerned about you? than they are about themselves. You don't need to answer that because here's the, here's the point. It's, it's the same old movie. You've seen this movie again and again and again, whether it's Rome for 2000 years or whether it's Germanic tribes or the conquest of Europe or Napoleon or on and on and on and they just keep going and it never stops and it's because one thing people people are not perfect greed ambition it's never changed and you know what it all boils down to all funnels down to one one word Three letters, three, my fingers are all dirty. We we're making a fire. Yeah. Three dirt, 30, well, dirty word. It's a dirty word. You ready to hear a dirty word? And I'm not even going to say it. You're going to say it. It's three simple letters. What does all this stuff boil down to? Sin. People are broken and flawed and fail. Some mean well. Some don't give a rip. Right. So why am I bringing this up? The anxiety that everybody's feeling, the moment of November's coming. Is it gonna be our side that wins? Is it the other guys? What's gonna happen? Is the world gonna come apart? Are we gonna need to start eating our 25 year shelf life, thrive life, freeze dried food? <laughs> Links down below. Yeah, which or, we eat most of the time anyway, or not most of the time, but. Or are we going to um, have a, a little more balanced approach and realize it's always been this way? And maybe, just maybe, what we ought to do is think about, okay, if I can't control the muckety-mucks, and they're going to do what muckety-mucks do, and I have a very reasonable understanding based on what has always happened because of sin and people are broken and flawed should I just put my faith in those humans no or should I put my trust and faith in God and okay. let them do what they're gonna do because I don't have control over them anyway 
I think you're you're hitting the nail on the head. Nail? Meat hammer. Meat hammer. Mm -hmm. So I know that you, and here's a tip. This is one little thing. That was the big thing. Here's a smaller thing. This is practical. You. There was a time when I, as husband, had to have a sit-down powwow with my wife because I love my wife, mm -hmm. not because I want to be a jerk to my wife, but because I was watching what was going on with my wife and her anxiety level when she would read and watch too much of the bad news. Yeah. Tell about that. He's right. Uh, I was having some severe anxiety, fear. What are we going to do? We need to rush and go and do this and get this done and, you know, have all of this stuff here so that we won't have to worry. And it was causing a problem in my life, in my brain, in my heart, in my flesh because of the anxiety that I was having. It was not... Even physically. That's what I mean, in my flesh. It Physically. I mean, it was, it was not... I couldn't eat well. I, I, I was not sleeping well. I was not, it was not good for me at all. And so thankfully you saw that and said, mm, we need to, we need to take steps to help her, me, not have this anxiety. So of course we prayed. And then of course he's like, and what is, what's the root of this? Well, I was watching too much bad news on on the on my phone on the computer stuff that we can't control stuff we have no control over and it was really helpful to me to to refocus and say okay I really don't have control and not, not I, I really don't have control over what's going on and what was going on was causing fear and anxiety inside my body and it was not it was not healthy so it was it was time to cut it off and i did we had to put a moratorium yeah, yeah. on on news mm -hmm. and even facebook social media stuff and cats youtube yeah i know she's no she just mess. she's in a mood yeah she just wants to play but it all had to to go for quite a while yeah, it had to go for a while and i had to refocus my brain on who was ultimately in control it ain't me, it ain't him, it is God Almighty. And that is where I put my faith and trust and hope in, is him. And no longer do I put my faith and trust and hope in any man on this earth other than you. Even, and, you. and I will be the first one to tell right. you that, don't ladies and gentlemen, don't put faith and trust in your pastors. Mm -hmm. In terms of humanity, they will fall. Mm -hmm. They're humans. Yeah. Just like me. I don't mean to let people down. I don't mean to let you down. Right. It, and I don't mean to let you down. It, it just... It's, it, it's a fact. We're fallible. <laughs> and I, and I want to press that out when I say don't trust your pastors. What I'm saying is that they're going to let you down eventually because we're human and we're sinful. Yes, they may be great people. They may do a lot of awesome things, but at the end of the day, they're people who need a savior. And we, <laughs> the cat, Go we on. all Go are, on. are <laughs> the cat. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's How about that? Perfect. For the fact, she wants, now all of a sudden she wants a tripod. Hold the kitty then. I'll hold the kitty, but she's going to stab me with her claws. When, whenever <laughs> you put somebody up on a pedestal, ladies and gentlemen, Eventually, it's going to break. Yeah. You know, Eventually, it's going to break. And when... Go ahead. Listen to your pastors. Weigh what they say against the Word of God. If it doesn't line up, run away. But you have to understand, they, like you said, they are human. And they will fall. And they will fail. I'm not suggesting that your pastor is falling and failing. But they are human. You need to hold them to a human standard, not a God standard. Please stop doing that. The cat. She's clawing my arm. <laughs> this one <laughs> This one is a little furry death machine. She is. She She's kills so, so many rodents, which is great. So sweet. 
but she likes us. She, ow. But you got it. Okay, mom. You got it. You got it. Got it. Vamoose, kitty. Go on. So here's the thing, guys. I, it's been a burden for me because I can see that the anxiety level is ramping up. Closer we get to November, oh, everybody yeah. thinks that either their side is going to fix it or the other side's going to break it. Or, the, or, or vice versa. And I'm here to tell you yeah. that as long as humans are in charge, we all are looking to the wrong places for leadership if we're not looking to God. Exactly. Because eventually, your guy or girl is going to mess up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how do we deal with that? How, how do we reconcile? First of all, you got to understand it's, it's just going to happen. It's a fact. Yeah, we don't have control over who gets elected in November. Well, we get to vote, but we, you get the point. You, you understand what I'm saying is we still, while we still vote, we still have no control over who gets elected. It's not like they're calling you up on the phone and saying, all right, you're the only vote. Right, Go. Right, right. So we have to pray, 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 pray constantly um, that God will lead us in the direction that he wants for our lives. And yes, yes. But also that um, you just live your life just like Jesus said in Matthew chapter 28. Amen. And the powers of the world, the, pow the people that are put in positions of power, guess what? They're going to do what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. But you still have your directive. Your directive is three things. They call it the Great Commission. For a reason. And it's go make disciples, mm -hmm. teach them, and baptize them. And that's everybody. That's not just your pastor. Right. That's everybody. Mm -hmm. That should be your mission. Not getting this one elected or freaking out or, or burying a thousand years of high-velocity projectile thingies. You know what? I'm not saying that we're not preparedness-minded people because we are. Yeah. But the reason why we are is because of that, mm -hmm. not just for self-preservation. Yeah. So take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Maybe cut off the news. Yeah. Maybe just turn it off. Just relax and realize there's things that are in your control. Things and then not. there's things that, you know, they're not calling me up and going, hey, Brad, what should we do about these European countries? They're not. So we've got to um, pray more, mm -hmm. worry less. Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. All right. You guys have an amazing... Well, go ahead. You guys have an amazing and blessed day.